So the first option that I do want to mention isn't usually an option, but the first thing to look at in order to avoid having passive income clawback is to avoid the passive income. Now, the only way to do that is to not have the cash in the corporation or the asset in the corporation that's causing passive income. Now, in order to do this, you can avoid passive income by investing the cash that you have back into operations. Because if you're investing it back into operations, it doesn't cause passive income. Now, this usually isn't an option, even though I wanted to mention it, is because most companies who are experiencing a clawback usually have so much cash that they um, aren't able to put it back into operations for several reasons. The first being that they don't want to grow. Um, the second reason is that they're not able to grow. So maybe if they're a franchise type company, there isn't any available, so they can't. And the, um, the third reason is that they just don't have the opportunity. So I did want to mention this, although it's not usually a, a feasible option in order to decrease passive income.